Okay, now we're going to demo, demo assignment one, which will be three objects, two angles, three line weights. Okay, so let's see what that means. That means if I take this coffee cup, going to try to sketch it from two different angles. So I'm going to hold it so I can see it at a different angle. And where the light's sitting in the top of the cup, I'm going to use a light pressure. And then I'm going to use a little bit firmer pressure. I'm using my fine liner pen for this part, for the sides of the cup coming down. And then I'm going to use a lighter pressure on the top of the handle. with my sign pen, and where I see underside curves or overlap, I'm going to go ahead and put a heavier line weight. So where the cup, the base of the cup, the underside of the handle, and this side. So again, this is like if the light's coming this way. Okay, so now let's try it with a different angle. Let's say I put the cup more straight up, so I can see more of the top of it rounder on the top. So I'm trying to use my full arm movement here. Round on the bottom. And then I see that just the top of the handle right here. So I'm again trying to use a lighter line weight. Connect that curve down. Okay, so again if you make a mistake, just keep going, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to reinforce these underside curves. So the idea again is you're trying to get a feeling of depth on the cup with line alone without using shading or hatching per se. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hatching in here just so it looks like the underside of the handle. And then I think I'll also just add a lighter line weight here at the top to kind of imply the rim of the cup. Okay? So again, it doesn't, the, it doesn't really matter if the object itself is perfectly accurate. The goal is to try to achieve the three line weights. So we're just using this to practice line weights, okay? So you can pick a fairly simple object too. Let's say, let, I'm gonna use this candle now. Um, so same thing, I'm going to look at it and try to do a top that's a lighter pressure. Okay, and then I can see that's got a thickness to the rim. By the way, round things are a little more tricky than square things. If you're looking for something easier, you might do a square object. I'm just going to lightly bring down the sides of the object and the base of the object. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of imply the candle wick down in here just so we get an idea of what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to add a heavier line weight underneath the rim of the lip and at the base of the candle. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again using, uh, let's see, I'm gonna turn it more on its side to flatten the top so I can see the shape of the top more uh, of the side. So here's the top. You can see that it has a little bit of a thickness now. And now it's gonna curve in about. So see I'm just using kind of tabletop size objects instead of something really big just to get a feel for this. So now I'm going to reinforce the underside of the curve here and here. And just uh, maybe this inside as well. So again we're trying to get a three-dimensional look just with line weight. What you don't want to do, I'll just show you, let's say I'm going to try doing this box and sometimes people will get carried away with their heavy line weight. So they might go, okay, here's the top of the box. They're doing well using a light pressure. And then here's the sides of the box. Still using a light pressure. 
but now they want to reinforce so they'll go like this and they'll reinforce every line. See how that just flattens it out? So this is, no, we don't want to do that, okay. Because see, if, if all four sides are reinforced, then that doesn't give it any depth. So let's try that again with a lighter touch. So I'm going to do a light line weight on the top, medium on the sides, Trying to, instead of going back and forth, I'm just trying to use my full arm movement. Okay, and then I'm going to reinforce. Okay, so you're trying to get the sense that the top of the box is overlapping the side. All right, so you're going to have, I'd have one more view here, all right? So your total would be your three objects with your three line weights from two different angles. And that's um, all you have to do for assignment one. No shading or hatching is required. So I don't have to go in here. This is my no example, remember? I'm not gonna go in here and try to shade. That's just gonna wear out my pins. Next week, we're gonna start using the markers to get value. So you don't need to do that. You're just gonna do uh, depth with line alone. Okay, good luck. <laughs>